What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now ladies and gentlemen, today's video I want to go ahead, sit back, and see if Infinity Ward is screwing us over and being lazy, or if they actually put in a decent amount of work. For those who don't know, in the Shadow Company event, basically, it was the event for Warzone which showcased what Modern Warfare 3 is going to be, the reveal, all that good stuff. Uh, there was a reward that you can unlock by shooting down, it, it was the commander, it was the commander reward. And if you completed this, you would unlock the M13C, which to me personally was huge, you know? A brand new weapon is always welcome into the experience, it's content. But the thing that annoys me is that they choose a gun that's basically something that we already have, the M13B. And yes, even though they're trying to, you know, bring something in that's a bit different, because the M13 is supposed to be a little bit more of an up-close engagement type weapon... The M13B still handles a lot of these engagements very well. You know, I've been using it for a long time. It's one of my favorite guns in the game. It definitely can handle all types of engagements. So what I want to do today is obviously go into a live gameplay, test out both weapons side by side. Of course, I use them a decent amount, but I think testing them out side by side with no attachments will really showcase their specialties, you know, what they specialize in, what they're good at. And we can really see if Infinity Ward put in something that was worth your time to grind for or if they're just adding in more stuff to waste your time and try to finesse you out of more money out of their game. Making you think, oh, look, you know, we're adding in more content. We, we really care about Modern Warfare 2, so on and so forth, to bring people in to cough up money in the store. When in reality, it might just be a copy and paste. It might just be simply the M13B with maybe a different fire rate or something but at the end of the day it'll probably still play the exact same but of course like i said we're going to test it out got some live gameplay for you guys stay tuned i'm going to send you guys over as always if you enjoy make sure you leave a like if you hate it leave a dislike if you want to see more content just like this subscribe and hit that bell and as always thank you guys for tuning in i hope you enjoy the gameplay peace what's going on everybody hope you're all having a fantastic day today now today i want to go ahead and see if infinity ward was slacking and being lazy or if they actually went ahead and put in some work but those who don't know in the Shadow Company event, which basically was the reveal for Model for 3, they introduced a brand new weapon, the M13C, but for those who know, it's the same thing as this gun right here, the M13B. Pretty much identical. But I think that the, what they wanted to do is just make it a different version, more like an SMG version, up close and personal, really good at, you know, close range engagements. So what I want to do today is just compare the booth, you know? Whether we do it in one game, two games, I don't really care how long it takes, we'll see. Maybe I'll have enough time in this game if it's a longer, you know, if it's longer than 10 minutes. Well, I don't think it will because we're playing kill confirmed. We'll see how this goes. We might have played two matches here. But, you know, we'll, we'll just go with the flow of it. But I really wanted to see if I can showcase the two weapons. See which one, you know, excels more, obviously, at the end of the day. And see if the M13C really does specialize when it comes to close quartered engagements. You know, because I feel like at the end of the day, when it comes to Infinity Ward, they just don't put that much work into the game. <laughs> I have to be honest. I really do think that they just don't care about Model 4 2 right now. They're, they're long gone from the project. And that's typically how it always is. They'll come in, they'll do a little bit of work, and then they instantly leave the game like it's nothing. So, you know, I thought, you know, might as well see if it's worth grinding for, worth your guys, you know, effort, your time to actually put in some work to unlock this thing. Not this thing. This is the M13B, but, you know, the M13C. Or if it's, you know, a waste of your time and you shouldn't bother. So, the best thing I thought I could do is actually showcase both weapons with no attachments. Now, I do have attachments on the M13C. If you watch my stream, which I highly suggest, you know, you guys go ahead and check it out. I stream over on Kick every day. You guys can find that link down in the description of this video. Uh, it usually goes live around 12 to 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You guys know I use the M13C. I already tried it out, but I have it decked out with all the attachments. And, you know, current day Call of Duty. Let's be real here. All the weapons are pretty much, you know, they, they could be anything you want, right? Like, there, there's no weapon in this game that is completely unusable at a certain way, right? I need to back up a little bit because this guy is going to kill me and I want to keep using the 13B here. But I, what I meant by saying that is that you can turn any gun into anything. You know, this M13B could be a long-range weapon, it could be a close-range weapon, it could be a medium-range weapon. The M13C could be a long-range weapon, a close-range weapon, or a medium weapon. The M4 can be, you know, the same thing. The, the SMGs like an MP7 or a P90, all the guns in this game can be decked out for pretty much any engagement, which kind of takes away from the fun factor of, you know, weapon variety. You know, back in the day, you would pick a weapon because it specialized at a certain range or a certain engagements. Nowadays, you... I don't know, you just pick a weapon because it's your favorite? I'm guessing? You know, that, that's kind of the, the whole idea of it. Let's see if I can get a better shot on this guy here. Come on, peek it out, baby. Peek it out. The guy on him? Oh, yeah, here we go. So, I thought that the best way to go ahead and basically demonstrate these weapons. Nice shot, man. Could have gotten the uh, the advance there, but it's okay. I wasn't really expecting to even get in streaks today. I was just going to I was just going to compare because, honestly, we don't need to get streaks to showcase the two weapons. We could just literally play the game to showcase the two weapons. All I want to see is just, I just want to test engagements and see, you know, 
what they're good at, and, you know, and see if the guns actually have their own identity or if they're just the same exact weapon and they feel no different from one another. But basically, you know, I, I guess saying that, I can further on with the other topic. It kind of relates to what I just said. But that's why I'm using no attachments right now. Because I feel like the no attachments is the only way to truthfully test out a weapon and see if it's good or not. Or, you know, what it specializes in. Because once you start putting attachments on it, you can turn it into anything, you know? You can make, I can, like I said, I can make this gun into a close range gun, a long range gun, medium range gun, whatever I want. And I don't really find that too much fun, you know? I, I, I truthfully don't. So, we're going to use no attachments, test them out. What I'm trying to look for to see is if the M13C really is more like an SMG, you know? Because we have a few guns like that, like the AK-74U, the Honey Badger, the FFAR. Guns that are really, really, really good at close range. But I would say the mass majority of the ARs in this game are definitely made for medium to long. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you deck them out. So, when I saw the M13C come into the game, I was really expecting it to be uh, exactly that. You know, basically our SMG version. But as you can see right here, the M13B is also pretty darn good up close. It's not that bad. You know, like it puts in tons of work at all these same engagements, but we'll see. We'll see when we move over to M13C, obviously we'll be able to test it out and see if the M13C is a little bit more benefit. Honestly, I might do halfway because there's no way we're getting all the tags. I mean, 27 to 17, you guys really think we're going to cap out all the tags in this gameplay? I don't think so, baby. I don't think so. If anything, I'll just probably put maybe my classes for the M13B and the M13C that I typically use in the beginning of this video, just so you guys can see that. And then, you know, obviously it'll get the video to be a, a little bit longer. But I think I might switch it and just test it. Because honestly, this map is really good for testing out an M13C. If I'm going to be honest with you. It's honestly perfect for it. It's a bunch of close quarter engagements. A lot of alleyways to navigate through. And also a lot of long range engagements to see if it can compete with M13B. But I mean, with no attachments, this is kind of the gun. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to find it kind of hard to see, to see if the M13C is going to be bad compared to this thing. Because I really do think that they're pretty identical. If anything, I feel like the M13C might be a little bit worse because of the recoil that it has. I don't even think it has any higher damage, but again, I don't know. We're going to see if I ever die. Here we go. All right, so let's test this out. M13C, here we go. So we're going to try out the M13C. Looks identical to the M13B. Let's be honest here. 23 and 4, not too bad of a score, too. We'll see if that goes down after using the M13C. All right, so we're going to go to the first angle here. Should be some people pushing up. Long range. Okay, damage. Fantastic. Recoil, though, you could definitely notice a recoil change. Way more recoil than M13B. Way more recoil with no attachments. Around about the same damage. So that makes me concerned because if it only specializes... I'm well, not concerned because, again, I didn't want it to be a long-range machine. I wanted it to be more up close and personal. But I don't know because, the M like I said, the M13B, you guys saw it. It's a demon up close and personal. It puts in that work. It can compete with F uh, SMGs. It can compete with, you know, other weapons like that. So I, I, I honestly don't know. But like this, these range is fantastic. The fire rate, like obviously, it definitely excels a little bit more than M13B. It does. You know, I'm not going to lie about that. It, it, it excels way better up close and personal than M13CB. Or not M... What am I talking about? The M13CB. It's... it's <laughs> combining everything together now. It's a tongue twister. The M13B. I think is what I'll say. Whatever. The range, that was some good range right there. Good damage as well. So the damage drop-off is non-existent for this. It's, it's pretty much identical to the damage drop-off of the M13B. Feels like a laser beam of a, of a weapon here. Oh, man. If I killed that last guy, bro, that would have been an insane shot. I might as well call him my airstreaks here. You know, might as well pull that one through here. Might as well, baby. Might as well. Okay, got some guys going to the back alley. This is a good test here because this is close quarters. Easy beamage. Easy beamage. It's, it's really beneficial. I mean, it, it's good. Don't get me wrong, but I have to be honest. I, I don't... When I deck it out with attachments, yes. They feel, I'll, I'll be honest. It feels different when I deck it out with attachments because I want it to be more of an up-close gun, and I want my M13B to be more of a long-range gun. So I always deck out the guns differently. So on my classes, the M13C plays like a close-range gun, and my M13B plays like a long-range gun. So I will say that they do excel when you deck them out with attachments, and they will excel with what you want them to do. But realistically, with no attachments, just their base forms, what these guns are all about... I, 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 I can't. I, I can't really see, you know, much difference. It really does seem like it was just a, a literal pointless addition to the game. There's so many guns in this game that they tried to, you know, branch off that new weapon system of having the same gun but different versions of them. But they all just, they all feel so similar to one another. They really do. Like, all the AKs feel pretty similar to one another. The M13s feel pretty similar to one another. All the real, they just feel really similar. Like I said, like, I don't feel like if I were to say this felt different than the M13B, I would be lying. Besides the, besides the little bit more recoil that it has. The little bit more recoil. I feel like that would be a lot more noticeable. If it was like, you know, in a different, uh, if it was on a different map. I don't know, because the, uh, this map has some pretty long range engagements, does it not? 
Nice kill, man. I should have backed up from that. This map has a lot of long range engagements, does it not? It has angles. I, I, I don't I don't know. Yeah, honestly, I, I feel like this might have been a waste. A waste of time more like that. <sighs> I, I don't think it's worth getting. I don't think it's worth you guys actually hopping because I know a lot of people like me want to get free content in this game. You know, you, you see free content, you're like, okay, I want to get everything out of it because, you know, I already wasted enough money on it. I want to make sure I get all my money's worth, right? I'm going to stop capping tags because I do want to go the time limit so I can test these guns as much as I can, but I don't know if that's going to work here because our team is actually picking up these tags like crazy, man. They're putting in that work, baby. They're putting in that work. No, uh, we only need two more tags. <laughs> the enemies have 37 of them, man. Sheesh. And those are the two tags right there. Pick it up, baby. I mean, can I complain about it? Not really, man. This gun is actually pretty nasty, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's nasty. It's fun. When you get attachments for it, it does put in work. It does do it. You know, it's, it's, it's duty. But overall, I would say it's not really worth your time putting in to, you know, unlock it. The guns aren't too identical. But guys, let me know what you think of both of them. The M13B, the M13C. Leave your, you know, comments down below, obviously. And as always, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a dislike if you hated it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.